Hey everybody, it's Eric from Everything Lead. I just want to give you three tips on how to avoid this. This is a neuron whose calcium gated ion channels have been blocked by lead. Lead's a heavy metal which goes in place of calcium. You can see the calcium going in there. It doesn't leave the neuron and it doesn't act quite like calcium, so it really affects the function of the neurons. And you can see how this neuron is just firing over and over and over again. This leads to acute loss in control of behavior, like ADHD type symptoms, as well as longer term cognitive deficit, the eventual death of neurons after they've fired so many times that they actually die from oxidative stress. It's known as excitotoxicity. The first thing you can do is check your water service line. Scrape it with a screwdriver or a coin. If it leaves a soft silvery mark where you scraped, that's lead. It is also not magnetic, so that's another way you could tell. The second thing you can do is avoid high lead foods like chocolate, cassava root flour, or, or balsamic vinegar. You wouldn't believe how much lead is in balsamic vinegar. Also spices like turmeric sometimes can contain a lot of lead. The last thing you can do is mine the age of your house. If you own a home built before 1978, definitely don't renovate it without first checking for lead. There may be lead in the paint, and lead paint dust is the biggest cause of catastrophic lead poisoning in the United States. If you're interested, check out my page. I'm going to go run that balsamic vinegar now. It's insane.